Hi. Now for this part then, we had to write down the value of the product moment correlation coefficient between D and P. Well, it turns out to be exactly the same as the correlation coefficient that we previously worked out in part B, that between D and Q. It turned out to be R equals minus 0 0.749 to three significant figures. And it's the same because it's not affected by the coding. You'll notice I've rearranged the coding so that we've got P equals BQ plus A. So in a transformation like this, nothing will change for the correlation coefficient. OK, so it's minus 0 0.749 then to three significant figures, the same as it was in part B.